fact is that the global workplace uh, is going through substantial transformation through digitization. Uh, and that digitization uh, is also aligned with a shift in the demography of how organizations operate. In many of the organizations in which we work, more than 40% of the workforce uh, are millennials. How do you facilitate um, the use of digitization uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way that ensures that you optimize uh, employee engagement, that you optimize the extent to which you can use these communication tools to foster innovation uh, in a way that helps you to drive uh, confidence, to drive, uh, to drive competence, and to drive um, uh, a desire and identity uh, to, to work within that organization uh, effectively. The second trend that, that uh, I, I think is is really one we see happening with a number of clients, is the challenge uh, of how to engage influential employees in an organization. Who are those influential employees? And interestingly, uh, a number of our clients have become increasingly fascinated by the challenge of being able to identify not just who those influential employees are, but what are the networks that they are using to communicate messages to uh, their colleagues, uh, to uh, the, their customers at large, and how do you best engage them? And I know that is a, obviously a topic that resonates particularly uh, in, in, in South Africa, and it's particularly a topic that appeals to uh, organizations where community engagement uh, is such a fundamental uh, challenge for some of the organizations with whom uh, we work. Um, the third topic that I thought you might find interesting, which you may in a way question why it is on this list at all, is the challenge of customer centricity, right? Um, how do you shape organizations in order to drive uh, customer loyalty, uh, customer retention, customer engagement? And one of the things that we've, we've come to recognize in the work in which we do is that very often, again, there is a demographic difference between often people who are responsible for customer relationships um, uh, as compared to the demography of customers. And, and again, it comes back to winning through people. How do you create a culture and an environment in an organization which fosters a more customer-centric approach to the people that work uh, in that organization and as a result, creates a better commercial uh, result? Digitization, in many ways, is simply part um, of the great autom automation of what is happening uh, across the planet. It is about uh, how effectively uh, uh, we replace, in some cases, people with machinery, but it's also about the use of technology more effectively uh, in the workplace. And one of the things that we've begun to recognize is two, uh, two aligned challenges. One is that in a world of digitization, human skills become increasingly more important because people are increasingly working uh, in virtual environments where um, effective engagement requires a redeployment of how people will lead, how people will communicate, how people will engage. Um, and we see digitization, as you will see illustrated uh, in, this, in, this, in, in this slide, really affecting every aspect of how organizations operate, from brand through to people engagement, through to how organizations operate effectively. So many people that we talk to and work with are people that are now running virtual teams. How you lead and run a virtual team is different in practice to how you're going to lead and run a team uh, that is constantly in your presence. Um, but it goes way beyond that. It goes to how you measure effectively in the organization uh, and then will affect all aspects of stakeholder engagement. Mm -hmm.